As humans, we pride ourselves in being unique. We are individuals separate from other people with our own distinct strengths, needs, and aspirations. We value our differences as they give us, as a society, the flexibility to deal with the complicated issues that we face every day. Societies with individuals from diverse backgrounds are better equipped to handle the complex and unexpected challenges that we face every day. Unfortunately, throughout the course of human history, people have used diversity, differences between individuals, as an excuse to commit horrendous atrocities. Nazi Germany, Japanese internment camps, slavery. All of these were based on the idea that some people were too different to matter. Many of our differences can be attributed to our hereditary material, DNA. DNA is the hereditary material in all living organisms, including humans. DNA molecules are made of these chemical groups, commonly referred to as bases, adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. These are typically abbreviated A, G, T, and C. Human beings contain approximately 3 billion DNA bases in their genome. DNA can be further subdivided into genes, or groups of DNA sequences that code for traits. For example, there are genes that determine your eye color. There are genes that will determine whether or not your hair will be curly or straight. Our traits are determined by the unique DNA sequences in our DNA, in our genes. Many companies today offer the ability to sequence your DNA to identify unique genetic components in order to tell you something about your health or your ancestry. For example, some companies can isolate DNA from your saliva, and they can sequence your DNA in order to tell you something about your ancestry. And this is based on the idea that different human populations have unique DNA sequences. And the specific variations found in your DNA can be compared to those found in these different human populations. Other companies can sequence your DNA in order to tell you something about which diseases you or your offspring might be more susceptible to. And yet other companies claim to use your unique genetic identity in order to tell you something about your fitness and personalize weight loss strategies. More and more, companies are capitalizing on their ability to tell us something about our ancestry or our health based on differences in our DNA. But how different are we? All direct-to-consumer DNA testing kits take advantage of our genetic differences. And as humans, we should celebrate those differences. However, we are more alike than we are often led to believe. Human DNA varies only by 0.1%. 99% of your DNA is exactly the same as that of your neighbors. There's no difference. We as a society talk ad nauseum about the 0.1% that makes us different. But what about the rest? What about that 99%? What does it do? And why should we care? DNA is required for the development and function of every part of your body. One part of this 99.9% can be found in a gene that encodes a ribosome. A ribosome is a small molecular machine that makes proteins. It makes the proteins that are required for your body to grow, to develop, and to survive. Proteins make up every single part of your body. They are what regulate your metabolic activity. They are what allow nervous impulses to be transmitted within your brain. They are what make your heart beat and allow your eyes to see. Our traits are determined by these proteins. Shown here is a DNA sequence of one of these highly conserved ribosomal genes, with every base, every letter up there corresponding to one of those chemical groups, the building blocks of DNA, C, G, T, and A. These sequences were obtained from the National Institutes of Health gene database. And what I have shown up here is a sequence alignment. Each row represents a ribosomal gene that was isolated from a different individual. We do these alignments to allow us to better compare and contrast differences between these individual DNA sequences. 
it is impossible to tell the difference between these individuals simply by looking at the sequence of these DNA bases. For all of you who are dying to know who's who, individual one up here is Japanese. Individuals two and three are both Caucasian, while individual four was simply identified in a paper from 1984 as a donor of normal DNA, whatever that might mean. Take a look at these sequences. They are exactly the same, just like approximately 2.99 billion other DNA sequences in your genome. There is no difference. Returning to the idea of if genes could talk, what would they say? I believe that they would say to celebrate the 0.1% that makes us different, but also celebrate that 99.9% .9 that unites us. We are more alike than we are different. Our genes are talking to us. It's up to us to listen. Thank you.